The peace of the Lord be with you all. I welcome you warmly to our sacred gathering today on Faith Journey. Wherever you are, may you settle into this moment and open your hearts to the divine message we share. Peace and blessings to all those gathered here. I am here too, deeply engaged in prayer and contemplation alongside you. Tonight on this sacred occasion, I want to specially reach out to all those who are having trouble sleeping, those of you locked in the grip of insomnia. We will pray with all the fervor that the Lord grants you peaceful slumber, that you may find comfort and wake up refreshed, ready to face the new day with vigor and grace. Let's come together in prayer for this, my beloved listeners. Precisely, Elias, life is full of challenges and adversities, but there is a divine shield available to us to guard against them. I speak of the glorious Psalm 103, a spiritual barrier that, when embraced, offers protection far beyond our bodily or material capabilities. It serves as a bulwark for our hearts and minds in the face of life's adversities. As we ponder on this Psalm, we are reminded of the merciful acts of our Lord, of His benevolence and His healing capabilities. The divinely inspired words of this psalm remind us to not overlook the numerous blessings we receive from our God, which include respite from our illnesses. This is most evident in verses 2, 3 where the psalmist proclaims, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases. The protective facet of the Psalm 103 goes hand in hand with a promise of steadfast love, righteousness, and mercy. It reminds us of the transient nature of our earthly existence contrasted with God's eternal constancy. Hence, this Psalm is often turned to in times of seeking relief, well-being, and expressing gratitude for regained health. It does not just offer a shield against adversities on a battlefield, but it breathes into us an invincible spirit. A reassurance that victory over all life's tribulations is ours, as we are under the divine promise of salvation. That's beautifully put, Lucas. The way Psalm 103 empowers us and emboldens us is truly inspiring. Now let's bring ourselves into a space of prayer as we share in this spiritual journey together. As we continue this divine journey of prayer, I would like to encourage you all to share your prayer requests or the names of loved ones who need our collective intervention in the comments. Together, we will present their names before God in our upcoming prayers. And if the messages shared in this podcast resonate with you, if they touch your heart, please feel free to show us with a like. Your positive response will help our prayer family grow even larger. If you haven't already, do subscribe to Faith Journey and turn on your notifications. Let us continue to grow this blessed community united in prayer and devotion. May God bless you all with his abundant love and grace. Now, my dear friends, I would like for our wise theologian, Elias Joao, to read to us Psalm 103. Let us soak in the scriptures word by word. Thank you, Lucas. As we enter this moment, I would like all our listeners to fully participate. Pray along with me as I recite Psalm 103. You can either repeat the words with me or hold them in your mind. Let's claim the divine promises contained within these scriptures together. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgiveth all thine iniquities. He healeth all thy diseases. He redeemeth thy life from destruction. He crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. He satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Continuing, the Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. And to conclude, for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. 
Bless the Lord all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen. Such beautiful words that touch our souls deeply. It is always an emotional experience to listen to this prayer. It reminds us of the powerful grace and mercy of God. At this early hour, it serves as a source of hope, strength, and comfort for all of us. Our hearts are truly moved. The words of Psalm 103 are so deeply moving that I, too, feel compelled to read it aloud. So let us revisit these beautiful verses. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Continuing further, the Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. And finally, as far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. Bless the Lord all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen. Bishop, I must say your reading brought a whole new depth to Psalm 103. You have truly reminded us of the invaluable wisdom, strength, and comfort these verses can provide. As we continue our reflection, I would like to extend an invitation to all our listeners. Make an effort to take some time out of your day to connect with nature, my dear friends whether it be in a local park, in a tranquil garden, or merely glancing out of your window. While you're embracing the beauty of the natural world, ponder on the words of Psalm 103. It's within the undisturbed tranquility of nature that we often see firsthand how the world around us proclaims the glory of God. Such moments can nourish our souls and help us absorb the divine message more profoundly. I would also encourage you, dear listeners, to share the power of this prayer with those around you, your family and friends, think about it. How many people in our lives right now are in dire need of the blessings contained within Psalm 103? In times of hardship or even peace, this message has the power to touch hearts and steer lives towards God. Believe me, for every 10 people you share this Psalm with, you can be certain that at least one of them will be profoundly moved and may turn their eyes towards God's guidance. Meanwhile, the others will feel a surge of divine blessings in their lives, transforming their existence for the better. Never underestimate the potential power of sharing God's word. I would also recommend putting pen to paper after hearing this prayer. It could be worth trying to write down your feelings and reflections afterwards. Consider keeping a spiritual journal. This way you can jot down what you feel during each prayer the thoughts that arise and the reflections that form within your mind. Over time, you'll have a collection of personal entries that trace your faith journey and illustrate your spiritual growth. Observing your progress in this manner can be incredibly gratifying and inspiring, serving as a reminder of the transformative power of faith. As we conclude tonight's reflection, dear listeners, may God's grace fill your hearts and minds. May his peace, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds. Take these teachings to heart and may your life be abundantly blessed. Good night and God bless you. Indeed, thank you for spending this time with us on our channel, The Faith Journey. 
Your presence and journey with us are valuable. We encourage you to subscribe so you won't miss any of our daily prayers and reflections. May God bless you abundantly, and until our next prayer, farewell and walk in His grace. And a special message for those of you who are up late tonight due to insomnia, or maybe you're studying or working the night shift, we pray that the Lord provides you with peaceful rest when you finally lay down to sleep. May God bless you abundantly and know that those who are keeping prayer vigils, your dedication will not be overlooked. Rest assured you will be rewarded one day. Remember, He makes all things beautiful in His time. God bless you all and have a peaceful night.